hey everyone welcome back to the channel this is Rahul today we are going for next prerequisite of T4 Spring Boot that is the chair requirement problem so the first video that I posted regarding that is somewhat lengthy and so many getting some sort of confusion so this time I use some small code which is somewhat precise and easy to understand so if you are new here subscribe my channel for more coding contents so let's start so this is the spring boot curriculum in this the 79659 i already posted you can check it in my channel i will give it in the description also so this is the course we are going to do 79465 Okay, it's a hacker rank one. So this is our question. Here we have a new workflow where employees come and go, but there are no chairs initially means there will be zero chairs based on a given string simulation string we need to figure out the minimum number of chairs required to accommodate all employees so here we have four letters c r u and l c means a new employee arrives if a chair is available they take it otherwise a new chair is bought r means an employee goes to a meeting freeing up a chair. U. It means an employee returns from a meeting. If a chair is available, they take it. Otherwise, a new chair is bought. L. An employee leaves permanently freeing up a chair. So, our goal is to find the maximum number of chairs occupied at any point during the simulation. I hope you understand. So let's start with our coding part. So here we have our method. In this one, we will start our coding. First of all, I will, we have the class result and we have to create one list in order to store the result of for each simulation string for that i will create one uh, array list list so the thing we have to return an integer array that's why i'm using it integer and i will name it as result equal to new array list okay so here since we have multiple test cases we will we have to compute the answers for each and we will start in the list now we will use one for each loop in order to iterate through each simulation string in the input list for string simulation in simulations okay we have to create two variables first one will track how many chairs are currently occupied at any point in time so int occupied is equal to zero second one is to keep track of the maximum number of chairs that were needed at any time during the simulation int 
max shares is equal to zero. Now we have to iterate through each character in the simulation trick, simulation string. For cap event in simulation, we have to change it to character. Array. So we will use one inbuilt method to char array. So this will convert the string into an array of characters. So we can process them one by one. So first of all, we have to check for event C and U. If event is C or event is U, then we have to uh, means if an employee comes or returns from a meeting room, then they need a chair. If a chair is available, they take it. If no chair is available, then we have to bought a new chair. So here we have to increase the number of occupied chairs since a person has taken a seat. That's the first thing we have to do. Occupy plus plus. So once this done, we have to update the max chairs also. Here, the value of max chair will become the update. We have to update it. Means if the current occupied chairs exceed the previous max, so we will use the matter max method to check whether to take max chairs or occupied. So here we have to give the values max sales and occupied. Now we have to go for the another condition like R and N. If an employee goes to a meeting or leaves the work room, then we have to free up a chair. So at that moment we have to decrease the occupied one so else if is r or event is l then nothing just decrement occupied okay so once this done we have to process means after processing the end simulation we have to store the maximum number of shares needed in the result list so we have to add it to result max shares once this done, come out of the loop, then we have to return the result. On the code, the issue stream simulation simulation occupied array okay Yeah. 
that's it i just added it inside the dupe that was the mistake i done now run all test cases Taking too much time. Yeah. So all test cases got passed. That's it. Let's submit this one. So we clearly resolve that one. Just reload it. As you know, it will take some time, but not much. It's done. So our prerequisite is completed regarding T4 Spring Boot. So see you in next video. If you like the explanation and code, please subscribe my channel and like the video. And if you have any feedback, comment it down. Bye.